Hello, Google My Business fanatics. Okay, so has your business been affected by the coronavirus? So I've been receiving a lot of messages for today from businesses that we work with that have decided to take action and allow their employees to work from home. So this has definitely affected their business as far as business hours. And so Google is sending out this message to all of the Google My Business owners. If you are a manager, you, don't, you won't receive this message and that's okay. You still have access to go in and change and update the business hours in your Google My Business page. So Google is telling you exactly what we want. And what Ryan Steinelson says a lot is, if you give Google what it wants, Google will give you what you want, which is more phone calls, more customers, more leads, more sales. <laughs> so yes, simply updating information if your business has been affected by the coronavirus or not. If it's not being affected and if you're not making any changes, that also needs to be spelled out on Google and updated on your Google My Business page because what are your customers and potential customers going to do over the next couple of days if they want, or weeks, if they want to find out additional information about your business and if you're open since they might be off now or working from home that they can come out to your business. So here's an example. Somebody does a search, whether it's a keyword, a phrase, or service that you offer in your business and your Google My Business page is fully optimized and so it's gonna show up on the first page if, to answer that search query, okay? And you don't have your information updated. You don't have any information of, we're not making changes, we're gonna keep our hours the way we are, we're still open, come visit. It doesn't say nothing. Or your hours have changed and you didn't update that your employees are working from home and your business is closed. So then they go out to your location and your doors are closed, what is gonna happen then? <laughs> You're gonna have an infuriated customer or potential customer. And I've seen this over and over, even 60% of the time, if you have your hours listed incorrectly on your Google My Business page, they will leave you a negative Google review. So what does that mean? One negative Google review is equivalent to 12 positive reviews. So you just got a negative review because you did not update your information. And where do people go to find out information about your business? They're gonna go to Google and Google needs to provide that answer. It's gonna affect your rankings on Google if you don't update your information. I cannot stress enough how important this is, okay? So if you get this email, all you have to do is simply click on update business hours, whether or not your business is affected, your information needs to up be updated. And Google is telling you exactly how to do that. You click on update hours and it takes you straight to that section in Google My Business from your app or on your desktop to update your hours. Now, let's say you don't get this message. What you do is you just go straight from your app. Now let me get you back to the dashboard. I just have to switch around here for a second. Just close your eyes. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so once you sign in to your app, it's going to look exactly like this from your homepage. From your homepage, click on profile. When you go to profile, click on <laughs> the pencil. Then it goes into your business info. So what you can do from here is you just click on the pencil and it'll take you straight to where you need to change and update your information. Now let's say, dude, I really like my description. I really like it, I don't wanna update it. What I suggest you do is you copy it, paste it into a note and keep it there for safekeeping so you can update this information. Um, in a couple weeks, a couple days, or when it needs to be updated. And edit your description. When you make changes to your Google My Business page, and I'm not telling you to do this all the time and in every section, every day, all day long, because you will get your page suspended. But when you update your information once a year, every six months, Google recognizes that you're using your listing, okay? So you can do that, edit your description. 
state, whether or not you're staying open or you're changing due to the effect of the coronavirus di disease that's going on. Edit that information. Update your business hours. You can go in here and you can add hours. You can mark the days that you're permanently closed. So if it's closed, you just put, oops, you just exit out here. <laughs> And then, or, or you mark those days as permanently closed right here where it states that, okay? Just before I forget, just put Tuesday, opens and closed. You, you put your date, you put okay, and then it shows up there. Or your time, you put okay, okay? The other thing that I strongly advise you to do is take note. Create a very simple blog post on your website, okay? And name it, ah, uh, coronavirus update or business hours due to coronavirus. Name it whatever you choose, okay? Once you create this simple blog post, I want you to put on there, this is what our business hours are. This is how we are moving forward, whether you're affected by it or not, okay? This is the phone number to contact if you have any questions about our business. We still are going to answer those questions for you. Or if there's gonna be a slower response time, put all your information in there that you are updating here on your Google My Business page um, in a blog post so that when you go back to your homepage and you're in your dashboard and you click on post and you add an update, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add a picture. Pictures are worth a thousand words. Make sure it's a picture that is most accurate and most descriptive. Write it about the post, write about what decision that you've made, write about if your office is open, write about if you are sending your employees home uh, to keep everyone who's safe to try and save them from being affected by this disease. Write everything you can about it, okay? And then here where it says add button, here's the secret, and you have learned more, don't just enter your website homepage and everybody goes to your homepage when they're looking for answers and there's nothing on the homepage. Use that blog post URL, stick it right in here and publish it. So now you have all of your information on there. Blog posts are only good for seven days. So if you're an owner, you will receive an email from Google that says, hey, you need to update your blog post. If you are a manager, I would suggest what you do is create a to-do or a reminder to go back in and update the blog post. All you have to do is just copy and paste everything that you already set up and just keep that post fresh because these posts will go away in seven days. So has your business been affected by the coronavirus? Update those business hours, update your business description, create a post and update your phone number if it needs to be updated.